What's good, boys? <laughs> What's good, the waste of people, the waste of retail people? I'm unfortunately not going to be in the office today. I'll be there next week, though. Back on my worst behavior as usual. Hopefully, uh, these boys don't bore you guys to death, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Be well soon, guys. All right, peace. All right, peace. See you So four, we're a man short today. Kunta is, um, should we, how should we preface he's this? He's sick. Kunta's He'll sick. He'll be back in a couple of days. He's just, he's a little ill right now, a little yeah. under the weather. He can explain that next week. Yeah, so we'll add in a little explanation piece here in a minute. But uh, we're still going to supply you guys with the episode. What's going on, man? I, I don't think I've been, have I, this is the first time I've been here all week. Or yeah. All week. I didn't I haven't been here since last Monday, I don't yeah. think. We kinda of been like I feel like our schedules have like not matched up. Yeah. But we I'm I know you got out there and did some thrifting. Oh man, yeah. I uh I put it I I did like a separate haul video for everything I found, but I went to three different Goodwills and just went crazy when they had their uh they had my mom sent me this like fifty percent off uh unlimited use card, so I went to three different Goodwills in the area and just went insane. It was, it was great. Did you, you, you said you went to that one Savers yesterday or a couple days ago? Yeah, in Woodbury. In Woodbury. In Woodbury. It was crazy. It was crazy. Is that the one with all the people that you yes, were bugging? Yes, it was so <laughs> wild. Like, I, it was so bad. Yeah. And the thing is, too, it's like people, like, when they're in there, they, like, know. Like, you see someone and you're like, oh, yeah, I already know what they're here for. Yeah. And it's almost like this thing where you're like, like, I don't give a fuck. Because, mm-hmm. like, we have, like, more than enough stuff already but yeah. it's like people like you can tell they're kind of like oh what did he find like trying to yeah. like, get to shit before you and yeah. it's like bro it's not that deep but then i went to that goodwill which i didn't even know there was one out there in woodbury yeah that's where i got that the raw t-shirt oh and, i didn't uh, know there's one out. where is that one it, it's like it's literally like, there. yeah it's five minutes from the savers like what? you walked in it's so clean it's crazy i really? walked in there and it smells like when you walk into like Menards. Yeah, you like, said you said it smelled good. I'm like, yeah, it was you mean, so like, good, weird. Good or no, like, it was so good? weird. Yeah, <laughs> like you, normally when you walk into Goodwill, it's like it's like must. Yeah, like yeah, old yeah, shirts, yeah. like old Goodwill type. Yeah. yeah, I think it's new, maybe. That's yeah. why. So did you get you did you do the discount or was it? No, no that was the. I think that was Sunday and the discount yeah, was Saturday. I want to say. You found just that raw shirt. Or was I found it? the raw shirt and then that like I'll grab it. Cause did you get just get two? Cause you didn't send anything, so I was like, no, nah, I got one. this too. It's like it's from uh, ninety six. Oh, that okay. was just kind of cool. Like the tag is nice too. Is it screen stars? Uh, it's for oh. a little bit. It's like oh, super yeah. old. Yeah, that's cool. It has that screen stars. Like, yeah. To it. Carpe Pisces. Yeah. Is there anything on the back? Save the fish. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. The rocher was. That's 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 a, that's a nice find. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like you go into any like well, not really any goodwill, but. You go into ones where the people know that there's shit in there, and there'll be, like, fiends going through yes, stuff. Like, bro. I was super casual. I was at the one in Egan, I think, and I was just, like, super casual, like, going through stuff, like, kind of looking at, like, everything. And, like, I was in the t-shirts, and this guy crossed over, like, the jackets. Super, like, quickly yeah. going. Like, not even looking, just got swiping yeah. through, trying to find grails. And I was like, <laughs> you're not going to find anything that way. And I literally, like, after he, after I got done with my section, he was done over there. I walked over to the jackets, slowly started going through stuff. Yeah. After I found that Burberry jacket, he That's went. Crazy. He went right past it. That's crazy. He literally grabbed it and kept going. Dummy. I showed my mom that, and she like couldn't believe it. Yeah, she was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I put that on my story, and everyone was like, "No." Yeah. Hey, are you serious? Yeah. Super nice, clean. Yeah. So that was the the thrifting was good, really good this week. Um, like I said, I made a I made a video to put up on the channel, so if you guys want to check that out, also. And then this will be our fourth podcast, so the videos are stacking up a little bit, different couple different playlists. Yeah. So 
what's going on in the pop culture universe right now? Um, I I want to say this album actually, Young Boy's album mm-hmm. came out like around the same time that A Boogie's did. Oh, just I think yeah. I kind of like slept on it a little bit on this album. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like with Young Boy, I like go back and like find songs that I like. Mm-hmm. But then like there's other songs that I just like just sleep. Yeah, don't listen to it at all. Mm-hmm. I'm really not like, because I feel like when you first came out, or not really first came out, but when you really got popular, everyone was just blasting. And I was like, yeah. I'll just let it ride out. I'll let the, like, the. It, yeah. It was like outside today. Mm. I remember playing that for Kunga for the first time, and he, like, lost his mind. He literally, like, when they say, like, I'm going to do a drive by in the Wraith or something, <laughs> that man started, like, crying. Like, literally, <laughs> like, actual tears came out of his eyes. He just like, loved the bar so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> he, he made me run it back. He's like, okay, He's like, like one more time, one more time. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, in, I mean, in the past, this isn't usually my man's, but he puts out, like, there'll be, like, an album or, like, where I, I find, like, three or four songs that I, I'll put on and listen to pretty frequently. But yeah. for the most part, not my man's like that. Um, kind of a crazy thing in, where is it? Um, yeah. Yeah, we, I don't have to pull it up, really, but. We, we should have put this up. We should have said this first, maybe. Yeah. Um, with whatever. I'm with everything. Like, I'm with it all. What you want to do? I'm a slut. What's up? <laughs> Get me lit. I dare you. It's 20 I'm years old, man. Yeah. A kid. We were talking about it, literally, the last podcast, how young he was. Yeah. It's fucked up. What was it? It was a, it was a robbery gone wrong or what? I don't even know. I mean, like I, bro, like you know how they have the like Snapchat news or whatever. Oh yeah, it was bro, up like there instantly. Literally like five different things. And it's like, dude, I don't even want to see this shit. Yeah, getting that news is so shitty. Like, yeah. when you texted me, like, oh, yeah. dude, I was on my, I was like about to leave for work, and Kunta like told me that he heard me because when you sent that, mm-hmm. you were like, you said like what the fuck is going on or something yeah. and i thought you were about to send some like funny shit yeah and then i saw that and i literally like i think i was like fuck like super loud or something because mm-hmm. like i was just like dude like it seems like it's like every week now yeah like some shit happens like that mm-hmm. Sad, whether it be like someone getting killed or like someone like like ODing or mm-hmm. like whatever it is like it's just like it's fucked it's life Sad. is super fragile man yeah. Like, literally, like, we were just talking about him, and he was, uh, you know, fine. And then shit like yeah. this is really crazy. The world is crazy. And it's, like, it's extra sad for someone like that when it's, like, they literally, like, have their entire career and their entire life in front of them. He is now just blowing up. Yeah. Like, he was, like, on the rise, and yeah. then it's some shitty thing like this that's happening. Yeah. Like, not to keep it, like, super morbid, but, you know, like, that sometimes I work downtown at Luce. Um, the night I was supposed to work last, I think like two days ago, and I just no called no show because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> but um, the same night that I was supposed to work, um, you, do you know you know where Luce is, right? Or, where in like downtown? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's Luce, and then right around the corner is this, this club called the Rouge. Mm-hmm. And uh, as the Rouge was closing, three people got shot, and one person died. Yeah. Literally, I was supposed to work right there. That's crazy. Like, like the world is so like just crazy right now. I mean, yeah, man, it's scary. There's a lot of sh- evil shit going on, but I don't know. Not to keep, not to make nah, it all yeah, dark, like, but you know. Honestly, though, like I'm glad that he, like, at the age of 20, like mm-hmm. he really did have a moment, though. Yeah. Like he was able to get out enough work, where like he will probably be remembered. Yeah. Like for a long time yeah you know like yeah man like i'm glad that he was able to like get on like jack boys mm-hmm. like put out like welcome to the party like mm-hmm. dior like mm-hmm. war i mean like welcome to the party and dior those are like that's like fucking work by asap ferg that's yeah. like one of those songs when it that, came on yeah, the whole world's like whoa that's like one of those like lit songs that like you could play that like in 2040 mm-hmm. like in a rap show or whatever yeah. and it's still like okay people yeah. are still like going it's, nuts it's to it. crazy yeah so yeah, I'm man, glad that he was at least able to yeah put out some work that's gonna last yeah good for him man rip facts um try to switch it up make it a little more bright uh some sneaker news actually you know let's start with some shitty sneaker news let's start with this <laughs> let's start with this L. also R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> to my dreams for real like um 
I don't know if it was if it was you or I think it was Desandra. I was at the gym and like I didn't even know these were coming out yesterday. Yeah. And he like texted me. He's like, oh, "Are you are you watching these trads?" I'm like, "Trads? They're not coming out till the 29th." And he's, he's like, "Send me the link to this website. Go to the website and it's oh, you know, dropping t- uh, February 22nd." So every five minutes, I'm checking my phone like a fiend. Like, all right, drop, drop, drop. And then he put up that it like, it put up the the soon message. I'm like soon, like all right, let's, I hate let's that go. Shit so and much. I didn't think it was gonna be a raffle, so I was literally checking it every minute like a fucking fiend. And then he, like, for good like, reason though. Yeah, Have you seen yeah. those fucking resale prices? Bro, Desandro sent me them. The special box too. Yeah, and two then, racks, bro. Yeah, my my guy at work wears a size eight, mm-hmm. like, like three. No, bro, like six, six bands. What? Yes, there was a size going for ten thousand. <laughs> Fucked. Fucked. <laughs> Fucked, bro. Uh, like, like eyes. even if, bro, like I just. Even the regular box ones are like at a rack. Yeah, they're, yeah. I don't know why. Look up Travis, maybe. I, I mean, it was up there earlier. Yeah, what? I'm so confused. Here we go. I'm scared to even look at these. Bro, numbers. it's sickening. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't even look. What size? Look. Ten bands. Oh. Ten bands for a size seven. Oh my god. Are you god. fucking kidding? Let's see what it sold with less. No sales. Yeah. No sales. What's my size? I wear eleven. Six. Highest bid three. Someone is willing to spend three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars on these sneakers. Okay, and like, bro, for this box, I'm gonna be honest with you. Be honest, please. This is not a dunk. This is an mm-hmm. SB dunk. Mm-hmm. Okay, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. So, so, that, so for the people that don't really know, so let's don't. So this is an SB dunk. What is a dunk that? Is doing good numbers, but not like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, the plums mm-hmm. are a dunk. I mean, that's not doing like ten thousand dollar numbers, but right. like just the shape, mm-hmm. the tongue. It's not made for skateboarding. No, like it was a skate shoe eventually, but like Nike is now yeah. realized what is you know what yeah. its purpose is. So like the tongue isn't padded, mm-hmm. which is, like, makes it much more wearable. Yeah, that big, opinion. giant padded tongue looks crazy. Yeah, with jeans. Foot. Not to say that the Travs, like, that's a very tough shoe. Like, oh, you, you, you're, like you're a big fan? I mean, I, we said it a while back. Like, mm-hmm. I think that has potential, and clearly it does, to oh, yeah. be one of those dunks that's, mm-hmm. like, in the upper echelon mm-hmm. of, like, expensive dunks. Yeah. But to me, it, this is just fucking crazy. Like, I it's, could... And especially, like, now it's, like... <clears throat> if you don't, if you didn't get these yesterday, you're not going to get them. Yes. Because sneakers isn't doing them on, not, you know, they're not doing them anymore. Allegedly. So. Allegedly. I mean, I'm sure they'll come out in a, in a different shock drop. Shock like, drop. Yeah, so. And, you know, it'll get sold out in 10 seconds. <sighs> but, yeah. but, dude, $10,000, I could name, I could go on StockX and find 100 pairs of dunks that are like, mm-hmm. like 500 plus probably. Yeah. That are so much better. Yeah. These are, these are dope, but I think a lot of that, like, feeling of, yeah, like I think a lot of that feeling of like these are really cold comes from like the hype, around, hype. which is shitty. And like I was, I know I said this to you guys, and like I think I was talking to one of my other dudes, like the fact that they're not coming out on sneakers to me mm-hmm. is more of like a chess play than anything. Like mm-hmm. it's a chess move. Why? Like I feel like they're just doing it to make people crazy. Yeah, like like, like literally, literally like. I'm checking my phone every five minutes. Like, yeah. there's nothing in this world that should be making me do that. And it's like, so you don't get these, obviously. Yeah. And then you go on, and they put out the two seventies, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, it's a fucking Travis Scott. And then they they're just... uh, allegedly like very limited, yeah. like these. I'm assuming. And it's just like, dude, that shoe is not good. It's so ugly. It's not good. <laughs> like, it's a thing. bad shoe. Like Travis, you, he's done good work with the sneakers in the past, but look at these. You'll never see him rock that. No. Like, he put Stormy in it. Yeah. And you'll never see him rock it. No, because he's like, I'm putting these out just to have more sneakers yeah. out. And that's he just... Has, he has what, like... So many shoes now. He has, like, eight pairs of shoes out? Yeah. I don't know. And it's just like, dude, like... Yeah, uh, these aren't it at all. And, again, like, I, my fucking thoughts about this were confirmed today when I saw some dude come in with fake Travis ones. Oh. Highs. Bro, when I tell you... I saw these shoes from 30 feet away <laughs> and could tell they were fake. Like, I'm, I promise, the worst fakes. Really? Yes, bro. What was, it, what was the rest of this fit like? Uh, 
like some like khakis mm-hmm. like khaki like joggers yeah. and like a camo like winter jacket but it's like bro and <laughs> like you remember when they came out yeah people were like all of the travis fakes are mm-hmm. good as fuck yeah like you cannot like i'm places that will not be named because mm-hmm. they're cool mm-hmm. like bot fakes really confirmed yes like they yes like you know where i'm talking yeah, about yeah, exactly. yeah and like they wow. they bought fakes because they were so good but this dude's fakes were just so just bad god awful. and that's just the hype like people don't care what like don't he probably doesn't care he probably knows they're fake he's like you know what i want these shoes which i mean if you if it's like that then i kind of understand it like if you if yeah. you really are like a like you love how a shoe looks and you know you can't spend a thousand dollars you want to get the fake? Like, I'm not condoning. I will never buy fake. I will never, I will buy never it. condone it, and I will yeah. clown everyone who does. <laughs> but I do understand. You know what that. I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you yeah, really yeah. want a shoe and you can't afford it, yeah. I mean, I, you won't see me doing it. You won't see this man doing it. Uh-huh. But I, you might see Kuta do you it. You might. You would definitely. <laughs> see, <laughs> no, 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 no. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. <laughs> but yeah, like that's this. That's just like the shoe. Like literally, the shoe yeah. game. Like people will do anything for the look. Yeah, which is crazy, but. It's like how are kids even like like all these like little dudes that wear Supreme mm-hmm. and stuff like how are they supposed to get in the shoes? Yeah. By general releases. Yeah. Like, they no. want these shoes yeah. and they legitimately cannot get them. No. Even Impossible. us even us, like we want like certain shoes that we like those traps. We want them, we're not gonna get them. Yeah. We're not gonna spend <laughs> three bands Bro, to get I them. work for them. Yeah. And I cannot get them. <laughs> yeah. Like it is impossible. Like, it, you're not getting them unless you have like a mean like a no a back door way to get yes. them. I don't you know. Yes. It, and honestly, on the dunks, mm. there is very few back doors. Really? I'm assuming. Yeah. Like, it's easier on, like, a one drop because you can literally, like, there's fucking a million pairs or whatever. Yeah. But Well, I mean, I, you saw that, that post that I sent you by an unnamed account that had, like, nine pairs of the dunks going for, like, 1400 a reselling group. A oh. big one, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, when it's like that, when you can, as soon as they drop, you have 10 pairs. It's like, come on, like, yeah. You didn't just, you know, get lucky and get sneaky, like Travis Stretcher, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, man, the, the sneakers are always, they always find a way to fucking get you. I feel like there's going to be a lot of ranting in this video. Yeah. But it's honestly very justified. Oh, yeah. It's all justified. And if, I mean, if you, if you were, like, anybody in the country going for these shoes, you know how you, you know how we feel. Because, yeah. like, <laughs> they, you got fucked over. Yeah. You waited all day to get them just to get, like, super just embarrassed. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Travis Scott, keep making your shoes. I'm going to keep going for them like a dummy. But, <laughs> keep making, keep making good shoes because I'm yeah. 270s can, you can keep them. Yeah. I'm not, I might not even go for these because these are... I'm not going for those. No. I do not want those. They look like... Okay, I don't want to keep bitching about them, but they're like... They look like just like utility hiker, like... Bro, those are so bad. If it was like the normal 270 model, maybe, because I kind of I kind of like that model, but this... That's the new model. Oh, is it? So it's the React. 270 React, and mm-hmm. then it's like there's like some letters, and that's right. like a new style that they're doing. It's not his silhouette. Yeah, I'm going to pass on those. Yeah. Let me get, get these off my screen. Yeah. All right, so... Pine Greens? Pine Greens, man. I recently got the the first Pine Greens of the... the what ones are those called? I can't even think. What is it? They're just the... They're just the Pine, Pine Greens. Greens. These yeah. are just another... I think this is like... They'll probably have a different name for these. Right. What are we, what are we thinking about these? The colorways don't. Mm-hmm. The colorways don't. I'm a huge fan of these. Yeah. That red um, tongue. Red, red tab on the tongue. Yeah. They, they, uh, you get red laces. They come attached with red laces. Yeah, which is interesting. Would you rock them with red or just the blacks? I would rock them with black. I don't know. The red is too much. That, that red, that little red tongue on the, on the tongue looks nice, but yeah. anything more than that, it's more of like a Christmassy, you're going for like a Christmas effect. I don't yeah. Know. When we were talking in the first podcast about, like, color blocking, mm-hmm. like, go to that, like, side view. Oh, yeah. I feel like whenever ones have, like, black as their main color, mm. I have to rock them with black laces. Yeah. And then if it's, like, white, like, toes white, the panel's white, mm-hmm. I feel like they look good with white laces. Or black. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, primarily, it's like black. Like, if you look at you, like look in your closet, most of your shoes are going to have black laces unless it's, like, a mostly white shoe. Yeah. You know? Unless you have, like, a really colorful shoe, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm a I'm a huge fan of these. Uh, 
Like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm. I was. I will not say that, but yeah. <laughs> I think like just the weather is like very interesting because mm-hmm. it's not the best. Mm-hmm. I think these pictures kind of make it look like it's like super buttery. That's kind of what you know. They that's what they go. Yeah, for. but like okay, so these joints that mm-hmm. came out, like you see how what is, for the people that don't know, what are these joints called? The UNC Chicago. Mm-hmm. It was a women's release. Pretty good quality. Yeah, like, big fan. I would say this is like as good a quality as you get on a general release. Mm. Like, okay, so this is tumbled leather, right? Mm. And it's like, it's from the leather, you know? It's not like, yeah. like this is printed. Yeah. Or like, that's like a texture that mm. they put in the leather. It's not like, does it come like that? No, it's not, it's not like naturally, just like from it being like soft leather. Yeah. Which is fine. Do you think something like, I mean, for the, like the every, everyday sneakerhead, do you think that really affects what you know if they were gonna buy a shoe or not the, uh, the quality of the leather with a jordan one like mm-hmm. no yeah i think there's been a few like they did that uh like couture like you, you, you should pull this up it's a just look up jordan one couture crease the first the first thing that pops yeah up bro is yeah bro uh oh. this one this one i think really? yeah Ooh. Oh, there's right. there's probably a few pictures, but like, oh, what's that? <laughs> uh, right, that's just dirty. That's just dirty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just like, yeah. What, what's that toe box? What is it? It. This was supposed to be like, it was one seventy five mm-hmm. back when retail was still one sixty. So. So like, they're they like, like the new like this supposed to be like advertised like premium. Yes. And the leather was just like shit. Yeah. So what? I think like in that case, oh my god, no. No, click on the shoe. <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> I would never wish this on any sneaker. Yeah, no yeah. one's shoe should ever look like this. So I think this is probably one of those rare examples where these like, look like plastic. They, they look feel, like plastic. They feel shoes. like plastic too. Really? Yeah. I think this is probably the only case where like quality has maybe been a thing for people. Mm-hmm. But a Jordan One sells itself, especially yeah. a colorway like the pine green ones have. Like, yeah, just real nice and like kind of basic. Yeah. I mean, that's why, like, even, like, a shoe like this, like, nothing, colors aren't crazy, it's just, like, a really well-put-together shoe. And it's, like, just what he did in that, Yeah. You know? The history, you know, the history behind shoes really influences yeah. shit, but, uh, these making me sad just to look at him. I gotta get off this. <laughs> you this is, this is you see that lowest ask? 39 oh. bands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's see, let's see what a 12 is. Oh, it's only one is 39. 39,000. That's fucked, actually. That's so highest bid. Someone, someone has 5500 5, ready to spend on it right now. If you pay forty thousand dollars for a pair of dead stock <laughs> Chicago's, you're legitimately the biggest clown. Yeah, but you're a goober for that. Yeah, for sure. that, that, and it's just like, bro, that's literally the most legendary shoe ever. Yeah, I don't care. Time. I don't care what anyone says. No one will ever have a more legendary shoe. No. I mean, no, nah, you're right. Like as far as like what was done in it. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, you're right. I won't even... Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, so is that it for sneaks? Yeah. I mean, I would say, like, Pine Green's just, like, to end it, like... Yeah. I'm gonna pass. Really? Yeah. They're soft. Like, the leather is soft. Yeah. But it's just not great. Okay. I don't know. It's a good cop, though. Yeah. I like it. Mm. All right. Sneaks. All right. My One of my boys on Instagram <laughs> sent, me a, sent me a DM from these uh you know about these montclair jackets and this is the first um or this is the second uh yeah. uh shipment. collab yeah second c- collab and you, you should see if you can just google it because that might be kind of hard to get on the is it yeah it's gonna so well I'll actually they'll probably be able to see it montclair genius i can try to pull it up uh, or just go montclair craig green let me see try genius craig you said montclair craig green Oh wow! Yeah. So these are this is the first one, right? Yep. So this is the first. And if it loads, yeah. Oh. What is, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bullshit it sent me to? Okay, you can see that. I hope you guys can see this picture right here. But I mean, it's still wild. Yeah. This and, is th- th- okay, but this is like wearable. You know, yes. like. 
kind of. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's crazy, and that's what they're going for, and it has all these different little compartments to it. But my one of my homeboys sent me. Oh, this must be like what they're. Maybe do twenty twenty, Craig Green twenty twenty. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Like you said when we before we even started the podcast, you thought these were like had a kind of a like insect bug type feel. Like if you can if you can see like the the eye hole cutouts and there's kind of a mouth thing and mm-hmm. you're definitely right with that. Yeah. And but like for this it doesn't look like a cult. It looks like something else. Obviously they're going for something else. But... Well Well and like that's like his art is very like mm-hmm. it's it's like in line with like the art that he actually does, but like I don't even think that these are things that you can really buy. You know? No. Like, something you're, if you're modeling, maybe you're gifted. Yeah. Or... And, like, you, they might have, like, I think the first ones they did, like, a few just, like, pop-ups here and there. Mm. But, like, for the most part, like, they know that that shit's not going to sell. No. And, like, if they had to sell this, it'd be, like, $15,000. Oh, yeah. Like, retail. This is just, like, some mm-hmm. bloody Osiris, like, Instagram yeah. model type shit. Yeah. You know? It's kind of cool that they do that, though, because, mm-hmm. like, a lot of times I feel like even, like, when when brands do, like, crazy shit, a lot of times you can still buy it. Like, the Off-White stuff, or not Off-White, like, Virgil and Louis. Mm-hmm. Like, he had a lot of, like, oversized pieces that, like, at first, like, I thought maybe would be just, like, runway exclusives, yeah. but ended up being, like, retail Actual available, yeah, but it's cool that they would do something just to kind of, like, flex yeah just to, like, just to show their creativity and what they can do yeah yeah it's very cool that without thing. like i mean i'm sure they'll make money off it but like mm-hmm. probably not yeah maybe this is more for like a lookbook runway you know showcase yeah. what they are capable of yeah so I'm, i mean even though this is something i wouldn't you know i wouldn't wear and i, I would never get but yeah i like it i like the concept they're going for it and the first ones you a lot of the stuff was like detachable yeah so it ends up being like an actual functioning coat but it has all these extra things. Yeah, I mean, they're cool, you know. I can appreciate cool. it. Yeah. For what it is, like. Yeah, for sure. You want to get into this a little bit? We can just touch it. Yeah. So, I like. Yeah, it's just a lot. Even... <laughs> we don't, I mean, we don't have to really get into it, but today, um, today is the 23rd. This is going to be posted maybe tomorrow, but. Whatever day it is. Yeah, whatever day today is was, uh. They, the, at the Staples Center, they had the Kobe. 224. Days 24? I'm off on my days. Maybe. But today what? they have, uh, like, the Kobe tribute at the Staples Center. And they just, you know, complete, just dedicated to the family and the people that lost their lives. But, yeah, man, some really big names that care a lot about the family, like, spoke out. And it was yeah. really and cool. His wife, Vanessa. Yeah. Which was, like, kind of tough to watch. But. Yeah. Vanessa, you know, MJ himself, and yeah. Shaq. And this really close people to him had some nice things to say, and it was really sweet. And, you know, it was horrible what happened, but it was really cool to see, like, the whole kind of, the whole, like, NBA to kind of come together for this event for Gosh. the family. So, I mean, we don't, we, we're not telling you guys anything you don't know, so yeah. we want to just kind of touch on it a little bit. Yeah. I think it's just, like, like Kobe's just so fresh out yeah. of the NBA, yeah. Which is, I think, why it's like it still impacts everyone. Yeah, that is not you don't have, like you just have to know sports really. Well, and it's like people like saying how much he like impacted them. It's mm-hmm. like I don't think people had to like like when you think of Jordan, it's like okay, you don't even think about him as a player really. You yeah. just think about like his achievements and shit, mm-hmm. or like whatever. His but legacy. it's like. Yeah, like, people didn't really, like, you don't even have time yet to process, like, oh, Kobe was, like, this for my childhood mm-hmm. until, like, he's gone. And yeah. then you're, like, forced to, like, face that. And I think a lot of people, like, definitely realize, like, holy fuck, this dude, like, actually meant so much more. Than, so like, many people. Which is, like, fair, because, like, he's a, he's he just icon. retired, you know? Yeah. Like, it's not, like, some and shit where it's, He's like, still, like, involved with the league. Yeah. And- it's you crazy. saw him like yeah. around like yeah. showing up places and shit so mm-hmm. yeah man it's another it's crazy. Just, life is just so fragile man yeah um 
talk about this bullshit. <laughs> Let's talk the about this. Continues. <laughs> the rant. This is about to be the rant episode. You guys yeah. are going to hate this one, but Facts. we got some shit to talk about. So, everybody knows Supreme. You know, especially if you're watching this video, you have an interest in the fashion, you know, shit. But, oh, you fucking hype. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, this, I mean, every, every season of Supreme, they have, you know, accessories and they, you know, their stuff recently got put out there, what they're going to be releasing. You know, some of it's cool, some of it has functionality, but some of it, like this, <laughs> doesn't have a place in this world. I it was, has, uh, yeah, like, it's, it's just, it just is one of those things, like the Supreme Brick, remember yeah. that dumb shit? Before I even get into this, though, like, <laughs> I feel like the, the accessories are, like, mm-hmm. usually what I'm least mad about. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it's like, They're oh, kind of cool, and they're like, yeah. yeah. Like, we, we were even talking about this, like, B.B. Simon type Supreme belt. Like, I was joking when I said that, but, like, yeah. that's just some, like, funny shit. To yeah, make, just to know? have. Yeah. But, like, like a mat, I yeah. don't know, lighter. It's usually kind of, like, some cool shit that they, like, collab with. Yeah. Um, like, a baseball, baseball catcher, you know, uniform. Yeah, like, when like, they do, like, or, like, chairs or, like, yeah. stuff like that. It's, it's a dope. bike, like, a bike would be cool to stay, like, yeah. like, um, like, uh, like, Eric Whitebeck, you know, he has his whole, that's his whole brand, is just him owning all that stuff. Yeah. But uh, when it gets to that point when you're, they're making Supreme Oreos and they're going for insane numbers on the internet, like, why? It's a, it's you know? a troll. It's a troll. That's it's what a troll. it is. It's performance art, literally. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's. <laughs> so you're speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. They sat down and they said, mm-hmm. what is a collab that we could do that is so fucking crazy and so outlandish and just. Just ridiculous. Oh, oh, I didn't even know about this. Look at this. Hold on. Uh, they're not even a full... It's just three. It's just three. What is this? It's just... Bro, oh, fuck you, Forbes. <laughs> was going for 92,000. <laughs> okay. 92,000. It's a pack. All right, I'm getting off this week, guys. <laughs> Come on, Forbes. Um, bro. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting off this page. Yeah, just that's that's shit. Shit. yeah, but yeah. okay, but that's that's just that's uh, that's not true. I'm getting off this, right? Yeah, okay. Like fifteen, I I saw some for like two hundred, and like it's. But even even that, which is fucked. Even yeah, that. it's fucked. It's fucked. I. Uh, <laughs> that's a perfect way to like sum it up, though. It's a troll, you know. It, it literally is. They. I can't think of something they did last year that was like this big of a troll. They like the brick a couple years ago. They did band aids. Uh-huh. I want to say that they gave those. I think that was like the thing that you got oh, free, yeah. with your purchase. Because I remember I, I had a free, the, like the bouncy ball. The ball, bo- yeah. So yeah. The bouncy ball was last year. Yeah. And the year before that, I think it was band aids maybe, or that was an accessory. Yeah. And then I remember one year I bought from them the first week, and it was uh, poppy seeds. It was a, like a bag of supreme poppy seeds. Like, they did a shower cap last year yeah, too. It's yeah. like, dude, like yeah. So uh, I mean, you know, this year for this first week, it's the, uh, it's the rain, it's the, the parka, this thing right here. It's probably just like plastic. Right? Yeah, like a little flimsy plastic. Yeah. Thing. I, supreme Ziploc bags. Supreme is just like everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Everybody knows about it's, it. It's, like. I would say that Supreme, like, as far as, like, clothing and Look just, like, it's recognition. Supreme. Yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's... Yeah. Like, it's it's so big. Mm-hmm. So big. You don't, like, you don't have to be really in the the fashion in, in your world no. to know about it. No. 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 You, I, I would say if you walk down or if you went into a college mm-hmm. down to literally, or, no, let me, an elementary school. Yeah. On up. I think if you ask 10 people, mm-hmm. like, at least five of them. They're going to know. A, a younger people, I would say 100%. Mm-hmm. Like, every single person knows what Supreme is. And, and they think of it like the grail of grails. Yes. Like, yes. oh, you have a Supreme thing? You have, when it's in reality not like that. No. Well, and, like, when we got into Supreme, mm-hmm. it was still, like, I feel like it was just a little bit rarer still. Yeah. Because, like, kids weren't, I know, like, there's probably not that like anyone like old listens to this, but there's like some fucking old head from the nineties. Yeah. From, from the night like yeah, talking yeah. about like yeah. oh back in my day we cop box logos yeah. or the fucking at the Supreme store, yeah. no line. You just like, walk in. Which is dope, but like 
I feel like even five whatever years ago mm-hmm. when we like first like started like buying Supreme shit. Yeah. Like it was like uncommon. it was like very hard to get what you really want. Like, yeah. Like, even if you were to like when this for when this next um, season spring summer twenty season comes out, it's gonna be like usual pretty impossible to get you know the box logos and the super hyped up pieces but yeah uh, yeah it's just supreme for you it's always going to be like that yeah you could like you could walk down the street and like mm-hmm. especially around here in this area yeah everybody's gonna you know you'll see in the summer people are gonna be wearing you know shorts and shirts you'll see supreme shirts you'll see supreme everything yeah. it's, it's just everywhere it's not cool anymore no at all no and they don't like <laughs> like, it, it lost its like impact yeah being everywhere it's like okay i don't yeah. even want this anymore i forget who said it but like i think i'm sure multiple people but like they said that like when supreme did the louis vuitton collab that mm-hmm. like pretty much marked the end yeah. of like supreme as we know it yeah when because when you, you see the trunks and the sweatshirts for fifteen thousand fifteen or forty thousand yeah. dollars like what are you what are you guys doing at this point yeah. you know it's not what it used to be for sure no and it's like little kids everywhere just rocking it yeah. like freaking out like asking for it for christmas yeah. like bro like it's just <laughs> like who cares man? i think i honestly think that when virgil said streetwear is dead like i genuinely feel like in the next if it's not this year like couple of years yeah like i think everything that is cool to like the the majority of people that like go for supreme and go for like travis scott's like like i think that all that is just gonna go away it'll be a total switch on what people like value yeah Yeah. value because it's like dude like it's just not i feel like people buy that shit to like stick out yeah but you're not you're You're doing the opposite no yeah you are blending in with everyone else that has yeah Trav, you see a tra- pair of Travis Scott ones mm. well, walking like, oh, down the street. Cool, you're like, oh, word, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. I've but, had like felt, mm-hmm. you know, like it's just. But like if you like if you were to wear like those those dunks you just got, yeah, or like like people are like, oh, like what's up with those? Like those yeah. are dope. Yeah. So it's that's I mean that's the part that's the thing about like sticking out or like having your own like sense of like style and like mm-hmm. what you think is cool. Like it's not what other people think is cool. It's what you like. Oh yeah. And going back to like going back to that guy with the fake Travises, like. Mm-hmm. Like, you, I feel like for most people, and, like, I would say this is true for us as well, like, Mm -hmm. we, I mean, like, we love this shit, and we would, like, this is, like, really, like, real life for us, but, like, I think a lot of people, like, buy stuff to, like, look good, or, like, obviously, like, Mm -hmm. look cool, like, Mm -hmm. like, but I think for a lot of people, like, Supreme and, like, buying Travis's is, like, a persona, almost. Yeah, because they want to fit in. They want to, like, be a part of that, like community mm. but it's like dude like you i'll like talk to people that have cool shoes on and there's just nothing yeah there's no like it, it's just to like look cool there's no substance know? behind it yeah, it's, yeah that's it is their what they have on their body that they're wearing that they spent however much on and yeah. that's what that's that that's them yeah so it's you know it's not about what you have on it's like really it's super cheesy but it's like about who you are you yeah know? and that's like very large facts yeah like just like I see hundreds of people a week that I like yeah. talk to about shoes and it's like that's you can tell you can tell like when it's like mm. they're like a dope person that likes shoes rather than like a person who has who spent money on shoes mm. but like doesn't like yeah so just yeah, my man. thoughts yeah not even to rant like it's yeah it's the natural like course of like it was mm. bound to happen yeah if you, yeah yeah you have a point the more you try to stay out the less you really do you know the more you try to be with everyone else and be have all this uniqueness to you you're really you're blending in and that's not cool you should just be your own person so yeah yeah, man uh that's all i want to talk about with supreme i'm I'm kind of sick of that i go back to these horrible things (laughs) um i'm trying to think what else we want to touch on Anything coming up this week that we want to tell people about? I don't think so. Any type of yeah. culture news? No. Good? Yeah. Okay. Honestly. That was like, 
that was the rent episode. Yeah, I think we we were like talking about the text. Like <laughs> this is like we're going in. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're going in on folks. If, if we have an episode or two like that every so often, like yeah, it, I mean people want to hear this shit too. So yeah, I mean I think it's like how everyone feels for yeah. the most part. So if you had you know if you share these ideas and this would be like, you know our episodes might be a little bit like this, but right now this episode we wanted to get some shit off our chest, so we did. Yeah, it just so happened that. Travis's aren't dropping yeah, sneakers. That's what started and the Supreme Oreos all in the same week. It was too much. It was we too much. We had to just get some steam out. Yeah, but uh, it's nice out though. Yeah, man, it's so Compared nice. To out. The last week, Jesus, it's so nice so, out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. So we good? You want to wrap it up on that? Yeah, I think so. On that note, so that concludes episode four. Then uh, we'll get this up whenever we get it up. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we're gonna start doing haul videos too a little bit. So. Um, check those out on the channel like subscribe do all that fun stuff help us out man uh we good yes sir peace out peace good shit